Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday. Sean Bear today. Today gonna go out to see if came out, see if things are on sale. Today though is kind of like the day before Comic Con, you know, because uh, San Diego Comic Con is all this week. So you know, tomorrow I'll have my, you know, um, you know, preview night video, and then I have my tour and all those kind of things coming up as well. So it's kind of like you know, getting prepared for Comic Con and all that stuff as well. But today though, uh, new release wise, the main things coming out today is The Last of Us, uh, the TV series that's coming out. I think there might be like a, a steelbook for that one. I might have seen, I might be wrong there, but I think I saw something like that for Best Buy. And then also this one called Conador or Can't, Con I think that's, I, I don't know how you say that for sure, but a, a Gerard Butler movie uh, that releases today as well. And I think there might be one or two other things as well. Also though, at the end of this video is going to be a bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray and 4K reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video as well. But anyway though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. Oh, and one thing I wanted to say too was a big thank you to Red Letter Media and their most recent video. They're talking about a bunch of movies that are on Tubi and most importantly, a, a lot of uh, Amityville movies. And they talked about Amityville Karen on there. They also uh, showed the poster as well for Amityville uh, Shark House. This is going to be coming out soon as well. So really, really exciting to see those, you know, talked about on there and the posters shown and stuff like that as well. So yeah, guys, if you haven't seen that, definitely check out Red Letter Media's most recent video. And they show tons of different stuff on Tubi and give a little mention to Karen and Shark House, which I thought was so cool. But you guys like now when I kind of show myself walking in now. So I'll do more of that now. Since I can't really show much of anything in here in the actual section because they blast the music, I'll show more of me just kind of walking in, going over to look at the books, which used to be the movies, and it's the thing I always say. Let's see, let's show those books that used to be the movies. At least we see something change here. And you know, I think this might be a newer book they put in here, The Handmaid's Secret. So at least we can at least change, you know, watch the books change out. You know, I think that might be a new one. I don't know, though. I'm not really paying attention, though, to the books, so, though. But we will head over to the section, though, and see. Uh, hopefully, they have something changed out today. Like I said, there's not a lot of stuff, you know, tons of releases today. So I don't know if there really be too much. We shall see, though. We shall see. Well, surprisingly enough, they have everything changed out. They have the stuff from the last week, you know, last Tuesday, but they also have Love Again. That came out today, the Celine Dion one for $24.99. They have this Canadar one, like I said, the Gerard Butler one for $22.99 for the Blu-ray, and The Last of Us for $34.99 for the 4K, uh, for the Blu-ray, and then $29.99 for the DVD of that one. Into Walmart we go. Well, it looks like everything is out here from what I can tell. So I do see that Canada one for $22.99. I don't know much about this one. If you guys have seen this movie, though, let me know how this one, one is, if this one's worth seeing. Like I said, I really, I don't even remember seeing a trailer for this one from what I can remember. But it was $22.96 for the Blu-ray, $17.96 for the DVD. And Last of Us is $34.99. It's interesting, though. It doesn't look like they're in, when it comes to the HBO ones, they're including digital copies of them anymore. Because I know they used to with the Blu-rays. And then, so it's $34.99 for the Blu-ray. Uh, $29.99 for the DVD. And then this is the other one that came out today. This uh, Pipa Chogra one, uh, which I'm wondering about. If you guys have seen this one, let me know how this one was. Let's see those carts? Those things are like the bane of my existence. Like the noise and the dragging them and everything. It's like, ugh. But yeah, so, but this one, if you guys have seen this one though, let me know how this one is. Interesting, Nick Jonas is in it too. I didn't know he was acting in it too. But yeah, let me know how that one was. Uh, $22.99 for the Blu-ray, $19.96 for the DVD. And then that was out last Tuesday. That was last Tuesday. And I think everything else here was last Tuesday. And then over here, oh, you can see the board, you know, which shows you what would be here. So it's like showing like, oh yeah, so it shows you what's supposed to be in these spots. But it says... Let's see. So Fool's Paradise, that was one of the other ones that came out today. That's $12.96 for, um, for the DVD. It doesn't look like they have a Blu-ray of that one. Other than that, though, that seems to be all the new ones I see right here in the front. Let's check over here, too, and see if there's anything mixed in right here. So I see, oh yeah, so this is one of the other ones today. I should be getting a copy of this to review, this one called Deadstream, and there's actually a Blu-ray and a steelbook of that one, too. But I'm interested in seeing that one, Deadstream. And then also... Did I see anything else? Maybe that Barbie 4 movie collection today? You know, Barbies, maybe that might have been today. I don't know. Other than that, though, like I said, the only one I'm really noticing offhand for sure is that uh, Deadstream one. Into the second Walmart we go. 
All right, so taking a look over here, though, it looks like they have everything out here as well. We'll see if there's anything else different over here. But yeah, I see all the same ones from the other location here. Let's see, though, if over here there's anything different. They see, I see Fool's Paradise. But then over here, though, let's see, do they have the other one? Oh, see, Deadstream, I wanted to show you guys the back of that one. But that was one of the other things. Like I said, they, we saw it at the other location, but I, this one, since it's not locked, you could look at the backs of them. But alas, we're not going to do that, though. But other than that, though, like I said, those seem to be all the main things today. Nothing really else. Uh, and like I said, if you guys have seen this one, definitely let me know, though, how this one was. Other than that, though, oh, yeah, this was out last Tuesday. I don't think I saw that last Tuesday. This is the lenticular. Is this a – so it's not a steel book. It's a – it's a so it's a um, – slip cover on it though but that's cool though yeah i didn't i don't think i saw this one last tuesday or when this one initially came out i don't think i remember initially seeing that i don't believe so at, le at least i think i remember missing it but then last tuesday too i don't think they had the scream blu-ray or 4k but i still haven't seen that one out though but they do have the dvds though many dvds of that one though into best buy we go so we're going to take a look and see. Let's see what's out in here today. I still see, though, some of the... Uh, they have one more of the Jaws 2 Steelbook available. That I think that came out like two weeks ago. Let's see, they still have the standee out for Avatar. Let's see, nothing new on this side. Over here, I see all the Mission Impossible ones. I did see the new Mission Impossible. I like the new one a lot. I actually thought that was actually really good. And, you know, I feel like it's probably the SAG strike might slow the new one, the, you know, the next part coming out a, a little bit. I don't know how, you know, when they were supposed to start shooting. I feel like the, these strikes are going to definitely delay a lot of specific things that had, like, set, you know, set release dates and stuff like that. Other than that, though, I'm not seeing much... You know, over here, like because that was last Tuesday, but for stuff for this week, I'm not really seeing anything. All this other stuff I was from last, you know, from last week and a couple weeks back. So let's see anything else mixed in here that I'm not recognizing from the past couple weeks. Now it seems like everything here is pretty much all from last week or, like I said, the last few weeks. But nothing really new out today, as far as I can tell, though. And they kind of made like a horror thing here. I noticed too. It's all kind of like. For the most part, except for like Major League, it's all horror movies in here. So I think that one doesn't belong in that spot. But it's kind of cool. They have like a horror setup thing here too. And having Pearl promoted there too. So that's pretty cool. So anyway though guys, that was off my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Let me know in the comments below though if you guys ended up picking up anything today on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K, you know, anything new that you guys have picked up. And also too, let me know for sure too anything at this, you know, at San Diego Comic Con that you guys would like me to show, any of the specific booths and stuff like that as well for you know showing in the um, the tour video and things like that as well. Anyway though guys, now stay tuned for the brand new DVD Blu-ray and 4K reviews. And the first one I got here is from Lions Game. This is a movie here, it's just directed by Charlie Day, uh, called Fool's Paradise. This is one I really wanted to see too because uh, Brett Wagner, who was just in my film uh, Desert Fiends playing Papa, uh, you know, he's in this film too. He has, he plays uh, the limo driver in the film as well. So you see him in this movie. So it was really cool to see uh, Brett in this movie. Basically, though, this is a fun movie. It's, basically, it's about like, um, it's, it's one of those things where it's, uh, kind of like Dave, that movie Dave a little bit, where like somebody looked like somebody else. And essentially though, Charlie Day's this kind of person that got like, doesn't know who he is, can't speak his character. There's something really off and you don't really know what's going on with him. And basically though, he kind of wanders into this one place and gets discovered by, you know, Ken Jeong's uh, character. And like, he's like this agent and sees him and kind of realizes that he looks like his one one client that's like a, a disaster essentially. And then what basically what ends up happening is Charlie Days looks like this sort of kind of like a celebrity who's in a film. He ends up dying and Charlie Day kind of comes in and replaces him because he looks just like him, but he can't talk. He can't speak. They can't really direct his character at all. And it's just this weird thing of all these sort of weird kind of encounters with Charlie Day's character, not speaking kind of around all these weird things, not really knowing what's going on and getting into relationships. And it's and there's so many different cameos in here, too. There's like uh, and, and, and some of them are various you know whether quick cameos and then some of them are much longer larger roles but it's like jason sudeikis adrian brody edie falco jason bateman common ray liotta uh john malkovich so i mean there's so many people kate beckinsale like i said really fun movie though on here uh as well 
the next one here, this is one I really liked as well um, from Lionsgate called Sisu. And this one is basically though, like one of those super ultra violent kind of crazed movies. Kind of has the vibe of um, Mad Max. So if you guys are fans of like Mad Max, especially like the most recent Mad Max movie, I feel like it kind of plays in, in that kind of vibe a little bit. I really like this. It's basically though about this guy who's kind of it's set during the the time of the war and everything and right when the war had ended and like the nazis were kind of leaving uh the one guy he's kind of kind of wandering the opposite direction and stuff and basically though one thing leads to another and the nazis kind of come after him and don't like him and basically though he makes it his mission to go after them and kind of take them out and it becomes this whole crazy thing with all these crazy kills and him going after them it's like i said ultra violent absolutely insane movie i really like this one a lot it's one of those ones too where i i really feel like it could end up being like a like a mad max where it's they continue doing these kind of ones i don't i know i really could see it continuing but really like this one a lot would definitely give uh this one a, a high re a top recommendation it has on here though i'm making of on here and some things on here about the feature uh the effects on here the next one here to let you guys know that was available and i don't know if this is the complete series i i don't know if this is ended or if there, if there is still series um you know the show is still continuing on or not i'm not sure i think it may have ended but i'm not 100 percent certain because this is one of those shows where i've only sporadically seen uh, episodes of this series i saw more of walking dead you know throughout the years but when it comes to this series i've only seen a couple here and there and this is fear the walking dead which is kind of the series which i believe in the universe takes place after walking dead i think it's hard to know because there's another walking dead series that's going on i think right now as well which takes place they all kind of take place in kind of different periods i think there might actually be another i think there might be two or three spinoffs that i can think of but this is at least when it comes to the show it has the uh seasons one through seven which like i said might be the entire uh, series of the show here but like i said one of you guys know that this one uh, was available if you guys were a fan of the show uh, fear of the walking dead i'll show you guys to a look inside at how the discs uh look as well some of the things uh here we go so let's see here's a look though uh, let me hold this up. It's always hard to show this stuff. See, it's uh, the, the discs come out of here, so you have to be very careful. I'm just going to show down like this so you guys can see. Oh, I knocked down. I knock it down. Everything in the car. So let me just reset some things up now. Anyway, though, the next one I got here is from uh, Paramount. This is a uh, Scream Six. I just finished watching this one uh, last night. I'll say though, I like this one more than I liked the last Scream movie, and I think that the thing that I liked about it was that there was a really different setting you know having this take place in the city it was kind of like when it was like jason takes manhattan i know in that movie it was only like 30 minutes of the movie was actually in manhattan most of it was on the boat but, but you know i like that it was a really different setting and not the normal because i mean they've done it at like a school they've at, you know setting but never like like a city type thing so they they could and i mean there was one sequence in here too that was like the movie nerve so if, if you've ever saw the movie nerve you're like it wasn't super original it was a cool sequence though but they did it in, in nerve the, that going across particular thing but i really did like this movie a lot though i thought it was actually um you know a different take on the whole thing and i like it was cool too seeing hayden pentair's character uh back again as well uh you know and she doesn't really act anymore so i'm glad that she came back to do this one and everything as well but you know it was great seeing her again uh you know jenna otega did a great job uh you know as well i i, I don't want to like say too much about this without you know because you don't you want to spoil anything but basically the survivors from the last film are now in, you know, going to school in the city and it's kind of like the the ghost face killer is back and it's like who is this killer that, you know now and it, it's really I, I don't like i said i really did like this one a lot it has on here though over an hour of uh, behind the scenes features on here like making ofs and interviews and stuff like that as well on this one the next one here, this is from Paramount as well, and this is one I want to let you guys know that was available. This is uh, Your Honor Season 2 here, the Brian Cranston show for this one. And this one has um, behind the episodes on here, after the episodes for select episodes, uh, Brian Cranston's day on set, uh, and then some deleted scenes on this one here as well. Like I said, I just want to let you guys know that this was available for you guys who are a fan of the show, uh, Your Honor. And this is a show that airs on um, Showtime. The next one here, this is from Sony. This is the 4K Ultra HD edition here. Now keep in mind, this only includes the 4K uh, not a blu-ray as well and this is the 30th anniversary of the film uh, so i married an axe murderer i always really like this movie this is um you know basically mike myers character and he ends up marrying this woman and he kind of starts to realize that there might be something off about the 
woman that he's married. So he starts to suspect that she might be like this murderer. And it becomes this whole big thing of is he right and everything. I, I, I really always love this movie. It's a really fun film for him. It was a little bit, you know, when you think of Mike Myers, you think of more like Austin Powers and ones where he plays like, you know, really off the wall kind of characters. This is more, a little bit more of a normal kind of character for him as opposed to like even Wayne's World, you know, it's like, it's a goofy kind of character. This is more normal Mike Myers in this one, but I, I really always like this one, but it has on here though, over 30 minutes of never before seen deleted scenes, which is so cool. That's the one thing that I really love is when they do release stuff you know, finally on like 4K or finally on Blu-ray and, and then they actually put stuff like that on there because so many movies have deleted scenes that just pretty much become lost media. There's films like Problem Child, Problem Child 2, which have TV edits with all these deleted scenes, but they've never been captured or put onto a, a Blu-ray, which is dangerous because that's how things become lost media. And it's like, hopefully, you know, they put some of those things in these movies that have all these deleted scenes and capture them because they finally recently did that I think with planes trains and automobiles cut scenes so it's 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 happening for stuff and people have realized that if they don't capture these things they'll be gone uh, but anyway though it has on here also a theatrical trailer on here as well the next one's here these are from vinegar syndrome this is one I always liked I always thought this was a creepy movie and it always creeps you out about mirrors too because like uh, reflections of mirrors and stuff is a movie here called the boogeyman and I remember when I first saw this I kind of mixed I think I saw at the same time the two 2005 like Stephen King boogeyman one came out because I remember like the, I think the DVD or something of this movie first came out then or something like that and I remember like mixing it up and thinking they were the same thing or something like that but this is basically though about this woman that's like um witnesses her stepfather getting killed by her brother and all these sort of weird things that she's seeing and she's like becomes afraid of mirrors but it's really cool visuals and stuff in this one it's not the greatest movie of all time but I always did kind of like this movie but this is the 4k ultra hd edition it also includes the blu-ray as well uh you know on here it has a bunch of different interviews on here uh, uh lots of different interviews on here theatrical trailer tv spots archival interview on here with the director on this one the other one here to let you guys know that was available from vinegar syndrome is the the Villages of the Damned, Three Horrors from Spain. So it's three different films from Spain uh, on this one here as well. It has The Forest of the Wolf, The Sky is Falling, The Sky is Falling, and it also has um, Beatriz on here as well. Like I said, one of the guys know that this was available as well from Vinegar Syndrome, the three movie uh, collection. And this is another one that I remember too. And I, I feel like I might be wrong, but I think I don't know if I feel like maybe Vinegar, no, was it, um, not Vinegar Syndrome, was it Anchor Bay back in the day that might have released this movie on DVD? I think it was either Anchor Bay or like Shaco Rama or one of those that put this out. I remember, I'm pretty sure it's one here called Delirium. And this is like about like, um, this guy that's going around killing all these women and stuff like that. I, I always remember, like I said, remember really liking this one, uh, but I haven't seen this one in years. It's from 1972. Uh, it has on here though, newly restored in 4K from the original camera negative, has a comedy track on here with film historians. It has on here a um, uh, portrait piece uh, with on the director on here by his daughter. It has a brand new interview on here with the uh, one of the actors on here. Um, it also has an alternate a 86 minute uh, cut of the film. Yeah, I think the original cut uh, cover, I think it was an anchor one from what I can remember. Uh, the next one here, this is from um, moviezing.com. This one, I'm glad to have a Blu-ray of this one. You guys, I have a link below where you guys can order this one uh, from moviezing.com. It's one here called The Book of Henry here. And this is one that I always, uh, I really like this movie. I remember when this movie first came out too, to theaters, it didn't really get a lot of attention. And like a lot of people didn't see this one. And I, I, I actually really liked the movie, but it was about this one kid and like, um, Henry, he basically realizes that something's going on next door with the, 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 the girl that he's friends with and the father and everything. It's, it's a really crazy movie and it's like, uh, it, it goes into in these dark areas and stuff, but it's a really well-made movie that's like, I feel like next to no one saw it and it's really actually pretty good. And the next one here is from Wild Eye Releasing here. And this one, I want you guys know that was available. Uh, it's a movie here called The Beast Beneath. And this is one I actually am in this one as well. I'm not listed on the back for it, but I am in the film here. It's basically about this sort of weird uh, creature kind of living out in the desert, this sort of tentacle creature monster. And basically I'm one of the kind of people that goes out there looking for my dog and, you know, doesn't go well for me <laughs> with this creature. Actually a pretty fun uh, movie here. Like I said, this one here called The Beast uh, Beneath. The other one here is from, um, uh, from I think this is from 
cheesy movies and it's from MVD. This is one I, that I remember really well, The Terror at Red Wolf, Wolf Inn. This is like a kind of like a motel hell type movie. It was before that though. I think it was the, sometime in the 70s. Yeah, 72. But it's like this weird old couple that has this um, motel kind of, but it's more of like a, a lodge type of thing. But it's basically like weird sort of things go on there. I remember really liking this one. So really glad to have a DVD of this one. The other one here to let you guys know that was available is one here called Junkhead. And this one is from uh, Synthetic, Synthetic here. I believe it's also from MVD as well. And this has the making of uh, Junkhead on here feature wise. Uh, the other one here is from uh, Cult Epics, and this is one I want you guys to know that was available as well, called uh, Broken Mirrors. And this one has on here new, leaf, uh, new 4K uh, HD transfer on here from the original 35mm interpositive. Also has a commentary track on here from film scholar uh, Peter Vanterbin. It also has some interviews on here and a promotional gallery and trailers on this one here as well. The other one here to let you guys know that was available, this one is from... Um, uh, from Bayview Entertainment is one here called Robot Monster. And this is the 70th anniversary here in 3D for the film. So it does include, you know, the um, old school, you know, 3D glasses of the film here as well. I'm one of those kind of people though, like, I can't for some reason use those glasses. I get like really terrible headaches with them for some reason. It's like this whole weird thing, but you, it does include the other version without it as well. But for some reason with me, I remember seeing, I think it was Spy Kids 3D and that was in that format. It wasn't in the newer 3D and I remember I got so sick from it. And the last one here to let you guys know that was available was one here uh, called uh, The Deep House. And this was from uh, Turbine Media. This is a German uh, media book release here for this one. This is one too that I don't know if in America there's actually been a, um, a DVD or Blu-ray for this particular one or not. I don't believe so, but like I said, one of the guys know that this one was available from uh, Turbine Media. But anyway though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, uh, definitely give us a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.